This scene is almost magical. What we have found ourselves in tonight is an environment of pure darkness. This may be the darkest night that I have ever experienced and I'm really just taking it in, enjoying the natural night vision which I acquired on the hike into this location. Tonight is a new moon which means zero moon illumination. Not only that, but we have immense cloud coverage. So we are working with extreme darkness where the PVS-14 just really shines. And that's what you're viewing through right now. An Elbit thin filmed white phosphor Gen 3 monocular using my phone to film. We found ourselves at a creek and I thought that this environment, especially tonight, would be possibly the best to continue our little series that we have going on now using the night vision illuminators and testing them out. Last episode in this illuminator series we simply experimented with the PVS-14 Illuminator and went into great detail about the philosophy around it and more. Definitely watch that video as well as subscribe, comment, share, thumbs up, and even consider supporting via paypal.me slash don't do daylight. But this is episode two and there will be a third episode, so stay tuned for that. In here, we will be testing now a comparison between the PVS-14 that you see here and the NVG-10 $400 night vision digital unit and the about $150 Night Fox Swift digital night vision unit we will be using in this instance one illumination source to try to remain somewhat scientific here and eliminate variables. So what is this illumination source that we will be using? That is what we have attached to the PVS-14 and what you see here, the built-in illumination, which I just turned on and you are seeing a great example of how it performs in extremely dark conditions. So take this in as it will actually serve as example number one, how the PVS-14 sees using this amount of illumination. If you're looking at it through the naked eye, what you'll see is a tiny red glow, which I demonstrate in the previous episode. Very, very small amount of light, which using the PVS-14 actually, as you can see, is quite effective. And that's ultimately the point of this video, is testing the light gathering capabilities of these three devices compared to one another using the exact same illumination source which will be this illuminator that you see here. And this serves as an example of the PVS-14 test with the illuminator on. In this exact same spot, we will be comparing the rest. So keep this view specifically in mind as we transition to our next device. And definitely let, let me know in a comment if you prefer these kind of shorter form videos that are kind of easier to make and still informative. Let's go ahead now and move actually to the, let's start with the Night Fox. I think that will be the biggest difference here. Let's see how the Night Fox reacts. Well, my friend, these are shocking results, even for me, and I wasn't really expecting very much. Now, keep in mind that this Night Fox unit is one of the cheaper, older models, even among the Night Fox devices. I do have the PVS-14 
illuminator turned on and that's what we're viewing right now is the pvs 14 on top of the night fox swift with its illuminator on and this is what the night fox sees using the pvs 14 illuminator as you can see we have to be extremely close up to the environment in order to see anything at all so with that amount of illumination this is looking attempting to look across the creek or even into it just a little bit and we are not seeing anything at all until we get to the very bottom creek edge we can just barely start seeing at our feet if i turn this way we can see basically just nearby branches and nothing else i was honestly expecting to see a little bit more than that even with this super cheap night fox unit and as we can see the pvs 14 sitting on top and how it's viewing with the illuminator on having no issue at all seeing really any distance even that we could see during the daytime in this environment that we are currently in that right there compared to the night fox using the exact same illumination source that is extremely interesting nevertheless let's go ahead now and do this exact same setup except utilizing the nvg10 digital night vision unit so keep all of this in mind as we continue now check this out my friend these are actually great results using the nvg10 now i once again have the pvs 14 directly next to it using the pvs 14 illumination only and what a comparison here between the pvs 14 the night fox and now the nvg10 what we can see here is quite impressive the digital clarity is, of course, not as crisp as the PVS-14, and ultimately the light gathering capability is, of course, less, but using such little illumination as the built-in PVS-14 has, we are able to see almost to the end of the creek where that fallen tree was. We can easily see across and even slightly into the woods. Of course, we can see down into the actual creek itself, see all of the rocks, and doing a quick turnaround here, we are able to see down the path. This is very nice. See all the way up to the treetops. Honestly, compared to the Night Fox and the NVG-10 when no illumination was present, I could, in all honesty, see better with my naked eye, which is somewhat telling. But then again, the Night Fox is still a decent unit when it's pumping out its own built-in IR, which is very powerful. So, there certainly will be a link provided below, an affiliate link for you to purchase the NVG-10 if you are inclined to do so these results though are very interesting so in my conclusion at least i would say that the night fox performed a little bit less to a degree than i was expecting and in all honesty i think that the nvg10 is actually performing better than i expected so how about that some interesting results here using the PVS-14, the NVG-10, and the Night Fox Swift. Just a quick comparison between what your money gets you, between multiple thousands of dollars, a few hundred dollars, and a couple hundred dollars, essentially. My friend, once again, I hope that you enjoyed this video, either for entertainment value or perhaps you actually learned something as well. Thank you, please, again, Consider subscribing, thumbs up, comment, and all of that. And always remember, don't have a good day, have a good night.